You, I, you're supposed to say ready. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed you to said, say... You said you're going to say ready. No, I said you say ready this time. <laughs> I said you say ready this time. Ready? <laughs> no. I was like, hey. You, I, you said, I'll say ready. I and said, you say, I said, two, one, go. And then I said, say, when I come over here, I'll, or wait. You'll <laughs> say ready. Okay, fine, you do it. I will, maybe, you were supposed to say it. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Mm. <laughs> That's not going in. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. Why? Ready? People will love it. They'll be like, oh, that was funny. Shh. Sorry, go ahead. Right <clears throat> ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Well, we're back again for episode two of the podcast. Pretty cool, if you ask me, I think, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they can't hear your smiles. That's too bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like smiling, and I think she was just like, what? You're, you're using your uh, All Fun and Games uh, stream. Welcome oh, back. Well, I, don't say that, I don't say that on my stream. <laughs> Welcome back. Some cool stuff this week, guys, which is like pretty weird, but also cool. Is like we, we pretty got... Weird. Pretty weird. <laughs> We found how we found out how to get podcasts on Spotify. So if you're listening to this on Spotify, that's pretty cool. If you're listening to this on Google Podcasts, that's pretty cool too, I guess too. Yeah, it's yeah. all pretty weird. Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty weird. Pretty, pretty weird. weird. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, of course, if you guys want to watch the video though, uh, it is exclusive uh, to Patreon. We've also upgraded our Patreon, so uh, the first few tiers will get you uh, the video as well too, and exclusive uh, right after we're done shooting. But uh, anyways, I guess let's get into the podcast. <laughs> Do you want to start with your first question or first topic? Or do you want me to start? Well, I mean, this isn't a topic, but I got this line Coca-Cola specifically. Oh, hold on. Let's talk about... Hey. Uh, well, I want to tell you, I want to let me put a... Oh, can fine. I finish <laughs> my sentence? Sure, go ahead. Before we started, this, she's like, oh, bef- m- I'm t- like, you interrupt me so much. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. <laughs> it's been first. 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. I got this lime Coca-Cola specifically for the purpose. I saw it in the grocery store earlier this morning, and I was like, I'm going to drink that later. I opened it up. It expired in August. Well, the problem is that we're in a small town, and I don't think buying pop, unless it's like in like a case, is a good idea, because chances are it's going to be expired. Also, it's Coca-Cola lime, which I don't think people really drink. I don't know. It's not good, but does it, is it, like, is that bad? Can you drink expired pop? I think pop doesn't, it's not going to go bad. It's not going to turn into like an acid. I don't know. Coke already is an acid. Pretty much. Well, not that. You ever see when they like pour it on pennies and it gets rid Well, it's not like it's like medicine, right? So it's not going to like go bad. But anyways. Oh yeah. We forgot to do our daily, what we're drinking again. Of course, I'm drinking my normal San Pellegrino. The uh, lemon. Does it say lemon? Or maybe both sides are in different cups. Uh, anyways. The lemon one again. Very sophisticated. But it, so <laughs> she got the... She got the Coke, and she was like, what are we, we're talking about, we were talking about uh, coffee, because I said that I wanted, I said like, oh, there's so many different types of coffee nowadays, and I said, like, it's so cool, like, how many different types of coffee, and she's like, well, I don't drink caffeine, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? She, I was like, yeah, you need to try coffee, she's like, oh, it gives me anxiety, I was like, well, I'm like, yeah, but there's a lot more, I feel like there's a lot more caffeine in, like, a cup of coffee than there is in, like, a Coke. I don't know how much caffeine is in this, does it say? I don't know. I'm just assuming. I don't think it says it on the ingredients. All I know is I drink coffee and, like, I can feel my body vibrating. It's weird. When I, if I drink coffee, like, now, if I'm doing, if I'm doing, like, a long stream or something, like, coffee gets me by now. Whereas, like, green tea was, like, not saving me whatsoever. But supposedly there's more caffeine in green tea than there is That's what caffeine. I mean. Or maybe it's, like, different caffeine, right? Caffeine is caffeine. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I thought, think like, there's, like, different brands of caffeine. Different strain of green tea. No. Or co- caffeine. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Doesn't work that way? No. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we don't know. Maybe you guys know. We don't know. But I think that, like, I think that if I, if I drink coffee now, I'm fine. But if I drink coffee on, like, an empty stomach, I'm like, oh, wee. <laughs> Yeah. No, like, you come upstairs and you're like, I don't feel good. Yeah. I'm like, did you eat? No. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, I drank a cup of coffee. Why did I do this? All right, well, you can start with your topic, I guess. All right, so I asked this last night, and Travis wouldn't answer. He said that it had to be a podcast topic discussion. What was it? So we've been watching Dawson's Creek, which I've seen all of. I watched it back in the day when I was, like, a teenager, and it was on TV. And... uh 
So I know, like, I don't remember everything that happens in every single episode, but I know how the series ends. Um, and uh, I asked Travis I, at the end of the last episode we watched, I said, how do you think it will end? Like, what do you think will happen? Oh, yeah, you did ask me For that. each of the characters. So I feel like most people have seen at least, like, an episode or two of Dawson's Creek, so you should you'd probably know what we're talking about. But for you don't even, you can't even get the characters' names correct. No. <laughs> But I'm wondering how you think, like, you know, the f- four main characters. Well, There's Dawson, Joey, Pacey, and Jen. First of all, let's, so... It, who you call <laughs> Alex, yeah, hold on, Zoe. Say, yeah. So every time we're watching the show, I'm like, why is, I'm like, why is Alex always, like, doing weird stuff? I'm like, who's Alex? And she's like, who's Alex? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, like, like, Zoe. And she's like, you mean Joey? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're on, we're halfway through season two. Yeah, and I can't remember the names. Still can't do it. The problem is with the, the thing is with the show, it's like, if you've ever watched a show called Gilmore Girls, it's a really good show. Very good show. You know, Rachel recommended. Of course, no, this is... This I, was, is... <laughs> I was watching it because when you're streaming, I'll watch TV shows or whatever. I was watching it and you came upstairs one day and you were like, don't watch this. This looks stupid. This is nonsense. Don't yeah. watch this nonsense. I was like, what are you he's watching? Like, this? He's like, this will rot your brain. I was like, don't watch this show. What is this? Like, what is what's going on here? And then literally, like, I remember sitting on the couch when you were watching it. I'm like... Move over. <laughs> yeah, he, like, pretends he's not paying attention, and then, like, I look over, and he's, like, looking up, like, through his eyebrows. And then I'm just, like, yeah. in the chair, I'm, like, with the snacks, I'm, like, okay, next episode. You're, like, yeah. but I'm going to go cook dinner. I'm, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's nah, suddenly invested yeah. in the characters. <laughs> but the thing is, with the Gilmore Girls, this is very, it's very, like, funny, and, like, there's always, like, quirky things happening. Mm-hmm. With Dawson's Creek, it's, like, everything is drama, mm-hmm. but, like, it's still kind of cool, because, like, some stuff they do is funny. I know, which is why I want to know how you think it's going to end, because I feel like you're not going to make it through the whole series, just because you're waiting no. on patient. The thing is, is so. we got to, like, episode, or season two, episode three, or one, oh, was it first episode? And I was like, that's it. <laughs> Anyways, you ever done this thing where you That's like, it, what? When I was like, that's it, I'm not watching this anymore. Oh. Remember, so we were, we'll be watching these TV shows and I'll be, I'm sure you guys have doing this, done this before too. You'll be watching this TV show and like, you can like predict everything that they're going to say or do. And like, we were doing that and I'm like, if they say, I'm like, and then at that one point I'm like, okay, the next thing, if they say this the next, I'm not going to watch the show anymore. And then they did. It was like some love scene or something. Mm-hmm. And, um. But then I had to get back into it after because I couldn't resist. <laughs> Travis is the same where he'll watch a show with me. And I'm like, I don't care if you watch this with me. I can watch this by myself. If you're not enjoying the show, like, I have no problem watching this on my own. And he's like, no, 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 I want to watch it. I want to watch it. And then he spends th- 37 minutes of the 40-minute episode, like, complaining about it. Be like, this is so stupid. This is dumb. I don't even like this. Blah, blah, blah. But then he's like, let's watch another episode. Yeah. I'm like, D- are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> like, remember yesterday... So yesterday we were in like we were in like our living room and like there's uh there's like a giant window in front of us mm-hmm. and I'm just yelling at the TV and you're like will you stop yelling at the oh TV? Oh my god! <laughs> I forget what was happening. I'm like because in the show they I'm like I well, I don't know who when does when did the movie get when did the show get filmed first of all in the nineties. Okay, whoever filmed this had no idea like what it was to be like in a relationship because. In high school, I wouldn't go around, like, kissing random girls if I was with a girl. Yeah, but it's drama. Yeah, but, like, in the show, Dawson's, like, the main character. And he's, like, this clueless kid who, like, wanders around and, like, kisses anybody he wants to. But, like, doesn't know. He doesn't. Well, people kiss him. And he's, like, you like me? (laughs) He's, like, he's, like, up in space. Because he's, like, this, like, movie buff. And he just doesn't care about anything else. He's, like, he's kind of, like, like away from reality a little bit, I guess. Right? Uh And in one episode... This person's, like, this random person who's never, like, talked to him in the entire series is, like, Dawson, you're so tense. And, like, rubbing his back, and she's, like, and I'm, like, what are you doing? Like, you have a girlfriend, Dawson. Why are you yelling? <laughs> yeah, and I'm, like, it's it's e- fine. even now I'm, like, enraged Too about it. Too riled up. But, anyways, so it just always I want to know. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, the question. <laughs> I don't know how you think. Dawson, Joey, Pacey, and Jen storylines will end. So so far I've been. I'm not gonna tell you if you're right. I just. Want so to far know. I've been like pretty much to the T with all this stuff. Mm-hmm. I like I've I've got it all right. I will give you the clue that. Don't this... say anything. I don't want clues. Oh, okay, fine. Um, so I'm gonna assume that as always. I'm gonna hide my face. Hold on, so I don't give anything away. Go. As always, I think that it's not gonna end the way everybody wants it to do, or wants it to end where. Uh, Joey ends up with Dawson. I don't think that. I think that they're going to go through this huge peak 
where like they're they're already at this peak right now where they're trying to get together and then they're going to break up and then they're going to find the person that they think that they love and then they're going to come back to each other and be like you know what i think we're better off being friends i think they're going to be best friends and i think joey and i think uh pacey are going to end up together and i think that they're going to be like because they're, they're like the opposite of each other they've always making fun of each other but they i think i think secretly they like each other and i think that uh dawson is gonna go out to do his own like career and i think that that other girl alex jen jen <laughs> anyways jen i think that she's gonna go and she's gonna move back to new york who else am i voting on or? that was it was just the, the four yeah. main so i don't think i think the only people that are gonna end up together is pacey and joey because i think dawson and joey are like meant to be like best friends and i think that they're trying to like be in a relationship because that's what they think they should be doing but i don't think that's gonna I think that's how it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my guess. All right. <laughs> Log that away. Yeah. Do you know how it ends? Yeah, of course. I've seen it. Well, every time we'll be like through an episode, I'm like, do you remember this episode? Nope. <laughs> well, I remember like the overlining story arcs, but not like every single episode. Uh huh. And I remember like the like the important episodes, like the ones that where something major the, happens. The big stuff, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's been like 15 years since I've seen it, so. Yeah, it's not a bad show. I recommend watching it. Do you? <laughs> it's, well, I mean, <laughs> you know me. I'm, I'm, what will happen is we'll get through this entire show, and then at the end, be like, that was a good show. And you'd be like... I'm like, you've complained for the whole thing. <laughs> you have your hair all torn out. He does this with Outlander, which I watched... I, it was always just my show. Like, yeah. I just watched it. And then you... I think I forced you to watch season one or something, and you liked it. Yeah. Outlander's a good show, though, if you want to describe it a little bit. But, I mean, it's... It's like, a, I mean, it's popular. A lot of people have seen it. I like listening to, just like everything else, like the books are always more in depth than the show when you explain the books to me. I don't read any books, but Rachel always... He doesn't read. He re- can't read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I choose not to read. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a choice. Doesn't know how to read. I'm allergic. I'm lactose intolerant of books. Or book intolerant? Anyways. So I just, um, with Outlander, it's a really good show, but there's always like so much like love in the show like it's very like yeah who likes that oh <laughs> you know what i mean not love but i mean like love making like it's always mm-hmm. like i haven't seen you for 10 minutes let's have the most passionate love that we've ever had yeah and i'm like yeah but that's not also not my favorite part of the show either like i'm just but like it doesn't it makes you like so uncomfortable it does that you look like you want to like <laughs> unzip your skin off and look because away. in tv shows when you watch them they kiss like people in tv shows kiss like they kiss like it's like an imaginary scene. Yeah. And so, because it is. so just to like get Rachel all riled up, oh I'll God. do, I'll give her like the, one of the kisses and she's like, I can't do it anymore. You mean, like, well, it's gone to the point that like anytime you come to kiss me, I'm like, oh, yeah, you're like, I'm like, I'm like expecting it. Like, I fl- I'm like, ah, <laughs> what, do you, what do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? What is this? Is this one of those movie things yeah. again? Just kiss me normal. But yeah, no, Outlanders are honestly like a really good show. I give it like an eight out of 10 because <laughs> it's, <laughs> well, it's, Okay, the, the premise of Outlander is this... I'm looking forward to hearing you explain the premise. Really? Yeah. Okay. Go on. The uh, Outlander is basically this girl, or this lady, she's like... I kind of forget the show a little bit, but... Uh, yeah. Good start. <laughs> anyways, so she like goes to these like rocks, and she accidentally travels back in time, and she ends up in like this time period, and like it's going through like the Civil War, or I think, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, no, she's in Scotland. Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, she's in Scotland, and she's in... Rock's Civil War. Got it. Go on. <laughs> she's in Scotland, and she's like, where am I? Like, blah, blah, blah. So she thinks that she's, like, in, like, some area, like, you know, just, like, people are reenacting stuff. But really, she's actually back in time. And obviously, she can't travel back. She doesn't know how to do it yet. So she, like, spends her time, like, getting to know people, and she ends up, like... She's like, I have a husband back at home, but she's, like, falling in love with th- with this other guy. And, like, it's just a huge storyline. It's really, really good because she, like, goes... Because she's traveling back in time, she goes to different time periods and, like, things kind of interact with the future and stuff. Uh, so it's kind of cool that way. But, yeah, it's very, like... How do things interact with the future? With a girl. The whole thing is that she, you can't change the future. Oh, yeah, that's true. Anyways, it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my question. I would like to just, like, preface that not Civil War. She goes back to Scotland... And the Civil War is in the United States. Yeah. Like a hundred years off. Cause... That's true. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Continue. No, I knew that. I messed yeah. up. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> it's a good show, I'm though. I'm still trying to decide if I should drink this or not. I don't think it's... If anything, it's probably going to be flat. We'll find out right now. Mm. 
No, you survived. It's very flat. No? She it doesn't taste like anything. She survived the Coca-Cola lime thing. Disappointing. All right, my first question for you. By the way, I jotted these down like a few minutes before because I had so many different things that I, I had to think about. How Does it feel weird? The question is, I actually wrote down, does it feel weird podcast? Question mark. But how does it feel being on a podcast? I don't know. Fine. <laughs> Normal. Like what's your, like what do you think about being on a podcast? What do I think about it? Yeah. And why? Like, do you like it? Why? Like yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I don't know. Uh, this is only the second one I've done, so I can't say I know. Have you always had, like, a dream of being, like, on a, on a podcast? I always, I've always had a dream of being on podcasts. Like, maybe, uh, well, when was it that I talked about it for the first time? Like, four or five months ago? Yeah, that's when, when I was like, you know what? Like, I think I that would be kind of fun to make one. Like, mm -hmm. but I never thought before that of making one. I just listened to them. Yeah. But... I don't know. It, it, I, it just feels like. I don't know why people <laughs> would want to, <laughs> want to listen, listen to you me. talk. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just like why? Like it's, it's fun to do, but I'm also just like, does that, is anyone actually gonna care? Yeah. Do you but feel that like... sounds negative. I'm not being negative. I'm no. just like I'm just a normal person who's just talking about nonsense. Yeah. Maybe they like listening to nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like listening to nonsense. Me too. I know because when she was like. We're gonna do a podcast. I was like, okay, we gotta come up with topics. We have to like have like these like different things. And she's like, no, I just want to like nonchalant like just talk. Yeah. And I was like, really? Because there, <laughs> I mean, I just you can do that for a podcast. There's some really good podcasts that are just like storytelling, like in mm -hmm. like the broad sense that it'll be like one topic over like ten episodes, and it's scripted, and they have like really good production like it's just an amazing thing yeah like i don't I mean, nobody got time for that <laughs> like, i'm well, not gonna hopes, be sitting here for two hours writing out like a script for the hopes is that like when we start when people start like giving us topic submissions and we can be like okay but we're always gonna i think but, like topic submissions is going to be a patreon thing no yeah yeah no, of yeah. course yeah that's what i mean but i'm saying that like we did decide that because we watch we're doing that thing about movies where we watch movies every week. Mm -hmm. We did decide that we're gonna like talk about that every week to like talk about the movies that we watch. I don't remember what we watched this week. I know that's a problem. <laughs> what did we watch? We'll oh about, no, we'll, I remember. I remember. Yeah, we'll talk yeah, about yeah, that yeah, after yeah. at the very end, but but yeah. At the very end. Yeah. That's the last thing we're talking about. Or well, not the last thing. Or I don't know. We'll see. But uh, do you feel like are you like oh man like at this point like if I tell people to like go out and buy. Coca-Cola Lime. No. Like, no. No, no, my review was terrible of it so far. I said it tastes like nothing and it's flat. Yeah. So you don't think so you... Coca-Cola will never sponsor us. Yeah, I think it's going to be like one of those things. No, not that. I mean, like, <laughs> you were like, yeah, this shirt's full. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like, you know how like, people like tell, like, you're like an influence? I guess that's what I'm asking. You I'm not an influencer. No. <laughs> no. Not now. I don't not know. Yet. I don't Maybe know. Maybe in the future. Will be. Yeah. I think being a podcast is pretty cool. It's definitely like a different side of things because like you're like talking randomly and, like, you're, like, I wonder if people are, like, paying attention right now or if they're, like, cooking dinner or, like, whatever. But I hope. I mean, that's what I'm, that's the ideal is that people are just kind of. Yeah. I'm talking in the background of their, while they make their meatballs. Maybe I'll come back to this question in, like, another six years. When, yeah. When six we... years? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll still be in the podcast then. Yeah, maybe. In, in six years, if you're listening to this, be like, hey. 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 All right, next question. Or next topic. Next topic. Yeah. <laughs> next. We need like a one of those buttons that we just smash. That was a good transition. Where's your topics? They're in my brain. Oh. Not prepared. I don't know. I don't really want to like be shuffling around through papers. Like, <laughs> yeah. Trying to find my next my, one. In my brain right now, like it's moving too fast, so I can't. Yeah, so I wrote it down. I know. You have to organize your yeah. thoughts on paper. Yep. He earlier this week was like, or no, when we finished filming last week, the first podcast. He's like, I already have my topics for next week. Yeah. And then 10 minutes ago when we were about to start, he's like, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. But like, I thought you had, like, you said you had, like, 20 the things. The problem was I, I, like, I know topics, then I fall asleep, and I wake up the next morning, and, like, my brain, like, refreshes. Yeah. It, like, defragments overnight, and then it's like, be Yeah. I'm ready to go. It's like. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to change one of my topics to what we're actually going to talk about. What? You yeah. can't just change topics no, my topic. Yeah, I can. They're not written down. All right. Well, go ahead. In my brain. Okay. Travis. <laughs> For the past, well, for the past five years, but sp specifically the last month, like last night you were yelling in my ear, in my sleep. In my dream? In your sleep. Yeah. Every night, every night without fail. I can't think of like a single night where it hasn't happened in the last <laughs> month. He wakes me up, uh, sleep talking. 
sleep yelling or like doing something weird. Like, I'm going to tell a story of when you woke me up because you said you were being tasered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is like a little time, a little before the wedding, like a couple weeks before it's the wedding. It's about a week before the wedding. Yeah. And, I was like, I and I'm the, sleeping. I scared the crap out of you. I have so many stories of weird things you've woken me up in yeah. the middle of the night. I'm sleeping and I just wake up and it feels like there's like an earthquake and the whole bed is shaking. Yeah. And Travis's body is like flipping around like and he's making kind of like a weird noise like that. And uh, usually if I like touch him and like move him, you won't wake up. No. Like I have to like yell in your ear and be like, Travis! Uh, so fine, like you weren't waking and I was like, oh my God, he's having a seizure. Like I scared the crap out of me. I thought for sure you were, something was wrong. Yeah. And then you stop shaking and with your eyes still closed, you go, I'm being tased. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I remember waking up and I'm like, what's wrong? And you're like, oh, so anxious now. Like, I'm like, and I'm what like, is okay. wrong with you? And then he always just immediately goes back to sleep. Yeah. I'm like, Okay. Yeah, and then I'm away. I can't. I don't fall asleep easily. So like, once I'm woken up, I'm up for like an hour, I'm just awake, like in the dark, staring at the wall. Like, <laughs> great. Uh, last night you woke me up yelling. Don't know what you're saying. Because the thing is, yelling. is like, I think it's because I eat a lot before I go to sleep. I don't know. I don't because know. I I've... think you're just one of those people who's like a sleep talker. Yeah. Like, I mean, I find that like if I eat a bunch of food before bed, I'll be like, because sometimes I'll be like, I'm not gonna eat anything before bed. I'm not before bed. Before bed. Before bed. And I'm like. You know, tonight I, I want to, like, have a good sleep. But then I'm like, I'm so hungry. But I'm really never, not really hungry. This morning you woke up and you said, I feel so salty. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, last, I feel so salty. Last night. And then last we're night. out getting groceries and you're like, let's have bacon for yeah. breakfast. So like, last oh night, last night we decided that, or wait. Yeah, last night we were, like, had a huge debacle about pizza and stuff. And, um. What? A debacle about pizza? Remember the whole group? Everyone was like, pizza. We had friends over, and everyone wanted pizza. It took a while to decide what yeah. kind we're going to get. So I ended up having, like, piece of pizza, and then after I had um, chicken wings, because who can't pass up chicken wings and pizza? <laughs> and I had that, and I woke up, and I was just like, oh, I'm so salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he'll always do this. He wakes up in the morning. He regrets his previous night's decisions. Of eating, And I'm yeah. like, he's like, I just want to have air for dinner. He's like, I want to have, like, one leaf yeah, I'm like, how and then much like, I'm like, uh huh, okay. And yep. then you bring me a salad. And then like an hour later, you're like, I want bacon. Yeah, and you'll bring me a salad. And I'll be like, what is this? Yeah, he's like, where's the meat? <laughs> yeah. So then we're we're out and we're like, what are we gonna have for breakfast? I'm like, are we gonna have like, like sandwiches or something? I'm like, but I don't want like lunch meat. I'm like, let's just have bacon. <laughs> As he was eating, I was like, oh, are you feeling salty? Yeah, yeah, but um, but yeah, I was like, I was just like sitting there. I was just like. Remember when I got, I remember the dream about getting tased and stuff. And I was just like, I don't even remember like, you know, most of my dreams, I used to be able to remember them for like a week straight. And then now my dream happens. I'll remember for like an hour. And if I don't call you right away to tell you it, like the, it's good now because before I, w I was, I was able to talk to her kind of like in the morning, but now it's like always at like, usually you wake me up like in the morning or when I'm just about to get up so I can tell you right before. What he's talking about is that at work. Yeah, I, I will would. call you on my first break. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So she always calls me on her first break, and then I'm like, "Okay, my dream is blah blah blah," and she's like, "What's wrong with you?" <laughs> <I'm just> <laughs> my dreams crazy. are always like out of this world. Like it's pretty crazy. They're insane. It doesn't make sense. Anyways, but that was your topic about my topic was that I never get a good night's rest. But <laughs> <laughs> every night it's like it was that, and then one night I woke up because you were just shaking your hand like this. Yeah, and I was like, "What are you doing?" Some pot, some, you're some just like shaking your hand around and you're like, oh, I fell asleep. Good night. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> One time when we first started, like when I first moved in with you, you woke up me up because you were laughing. Oh yeah, I remember that. Like we had some friends over and they heard it from downstairs. You were just like at the top of your lungs, like laughing, like you never heard anything funnier and you were dead asleep. Yeah. I was like, that's not terrifying. That's fine. That was okay. My dad used to... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> so hold on, hold on. But for the people that are listening and can't see, I so <laughs> so last time on the podcast, our friend Wes was like, "Next time you do the podcast, don't go talk and then in drink the middle, and the middle of the sentence drink some pop or whatever." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I gotta remember to do that." Literally just mid talk. Anyways, my dad would snore all the time. My dad would snore all the time and. Um, he, I don't know if he ever talked to sleep, but 
I was saying that like it's lucky because Rachel does snore in her sleep because she has a deviated. I do. Yeah. She has a deviated septum, so she can't, can't help it. I can't breathe out of my right nostril at all. So if I lay a certain way, I just like my nose just like shuts down. Yeah, but like with Rachel, like she doesn't talk in her sleep. But no. I'll be like, she'll be snoring. I'll be like, hey, hey, and she'll be like, ah. and then she'll like continue snoring. I'm like, hey, hey, and then she like, and then she'll. She's still not doing that. I'm like, hey. And then she'd be like, oh my god. What? What? And she like thinks that like, that's the first time that I was poking her. But like really, I'm like being like really gentle. And then eventually I'm like, hey. And I'm it's like, why do you have to be so mean about it? Yeah, you're like, what do you have to be? I'm like, oh, it's okay. I'm like, it's... So yeah, pretty much we're really bad sleepers. Some doctor's going to listen to this and be like, hmm. Yeah, sleep apnea. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, better get that check. Too much Coca-Cola lime. It's and all that Coca-Cola lime. You're just preparing me for kids because like, I'm just waking up 400 times a night. That and I'm really energetic in the morning, too. Yeah. And, well, in, in general. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's what I said to her. I'm like, sometimes I'll be running around the house just, like, singing random songs, like, making up, making up my own songs. Yeah. And, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm just preparing you for kids. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be a pro. They're going to be, like, less, they're going to be less work than you. Yeah. You know, our kids are going to be, like, on the walls. They're just going to, like, have spider hands and be on the walls. Why? I don't know, because they're being crazy. They're mutants? No, because <laughs> they're crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the moral of the story is maybe we should drink less caffeine before bed. I don't, I don't drink caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Next up. What is your favorite... Well, well, I wrote down musical, but I made it movie musical. What is my favorite movie musical? And why? It has to be a movie? Yeah. I think nobody's not... When, when have you watched musical or listened to musicals? That haven't been a movie? Mm-hmm. Are most musicals movies? Most musicals are musicals. They're like Broadway musicals. I think it would be cool to see one. Yeah. I wanted to go see Wicked last summer and you said you didn't want to go. It was in Detroit. Yeah. Anyway. Movie, musical. Um, Les Mis was okay, but probably Rent. I've never seen it. I put it on one day. I don't think you were paying attention. Yeah. It's good. It's like a rock opera. Oh, that's what they told us to watch. Rock, rock, or uh, rock. Rocky Horror Picture Yes, show? that's what it's called. You've never seen a Rocky no, Horror Picture that, show. No, that's, so. I don't know if you'd like it. Yeah, so people. It's are, very, like, campy. It's very, like. Uh, what's campy mean? Like, quirky and weird. Okay. So, because I, I know people are saying that, like, if you're going to, because on, for Halloween, I specifically said to, I specifically said to Rachel that. Why do you keep poking me? Oh, sorry. Uh, I specifically said to Rachel um, that we should like choose like uh, a movie, like Halloween movie to watch, mm -hmm. and then like the recommendations that they said was Rocky Horror Picture Movie. But it's I've seen it. I don't. I just don't. I don't know. Like we can watch it. I don't know if you're gonna like it. You don't love musicals, really. Hey, what? <laughs> Do you? I don't know. I mean, we watched Grease. Yeah. We can talk about that at the end, but <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite musical that I think we've ever watched. Would, would this classify as a musical as The Greatest Showman? Yeah, it's a musical. Yeah, that movie was amazing. Mm -hmm. like, That's another one that I was watching that he came in like halfway through. Yeah, but then I ended up watching the whole thing. Anyways. Yeah. That movie is like so good. If you guys have never seen Greatest Showman, not only that, it's like the soundtrack is really good. I think it's just a very, it's it's like a, I, the only thing I don't like about musicals is when it's like every 10 minutes there's a song. That's the point of musicals. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I think it's like, yeah, I think I've always like, not it's just like whenever i watch you know when you watch a disney movie and like the music's are, are like oh you're like oh, oh my god like some some disney films are good because there's like a lot a lot of music in it but some of them does have a lot and that's i think that's why i never really, that's why i never so, really watched it i think that like what i'm saying is that i think that some like movies that i've seen with a lot of music in it has like deterred me from watching musicals that's what i'm saying i don't know i just like wasn't really a fan of i'm always like <clears throat> like used to watching films without music in it like you know not serious films but just in general but then Rachel was, like, really in love with musicals. I always love musicals. Like, yeah. I, when I was little, I watched The Sound of Music, like, 400 times. Our friend Daniela listens to them all the time, too. And she, like, every every time... What? I said, oh, they're so good. Oh, I was like, our friend Daniela listens to music, and you're like, oh, so good. But anyways, uh, so I was saying that um, whenever her and Daniela are, like, watching the, the like, movies together, mm -hmm. we'll, like, we'll watch the musicals, and, like, you'll just both just sing that entire series, and I'm like... I'm like I have no nothing mm -hmm. about the stuff, but no, yeah, like my I would say my favorite's definitely like The Greatest Showman, and we recently watched Grease. What other ones have we watched? I don't think you've seen any other musicals. You watched Hairspray, didn't you? Yep. Or did I? Mm -hmm. I think so. I we think we watched did. Hairspray. Yeah. I mean, maybe you weren't paying attention. You're playing cards or something at the same time. Oh yeah, that's true. Hairspray. We did watch that. Uh, John Travolta's in that one, I think. Yeah, but he's um oh, plays a woman. 
Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Yeah, so what? I thought there was another musical that we watched. Oh, no, we wanted to watch La La Land, but we never watched it yet. I've seen it. It's good. It's good, yeah. Um, it's like, I think it was overhyped. Like, I think people were like, oh, it's amazing, but it was all right. It was good. Yeah. I can't think of any other musicals that I've seen. I drove all the way to, all the way, as if it's so far. It's only four hours. But I drove to Toronto with my friends in high school to see, like, off-Broadway Rent yeah. performed. It was really good. I think it'd be cool to, like, if you were in New York or something like that and you saw, like, a Broadway musical. Oh, my gosh, show. it would be. But it's very expensive if it's a popular show. Yeah. Like, those Hamilton. Like, I've always wanted to What's see. What's Hamilton? Hamilton's, like, the most famous Broadway show over the past, like, five years. It's, yeah. It's about, um... I don't know. It's like very like American, like all of the Civil War heroes, this and that, like Abraham oh, yeah. Lincoln, that kind of stuff. Um, I haven't listened to the music. I've heard a few songs, but it's very. Um, do you know the guy who did the music for Moana? No. Okay, the guy who did the music for Moana. His name's Lin Manuel Miranda, and he's like a. He writes music and he's a performer. He's the star of Hamilton. Oh yeah. So he's like extremely talented, but it's all kind of. Um, all the music in it is very, like, hip-hop, um, rap, R&B style, even though they're talking about, like, really old topics and they're wearing, like, century clothing kind hmm. of thing. So it's, like, a really interesting mix, mash of them. Yeah. But tickets for that were, like, insane. Yeah. Like, people were paying, like, $1,000 a seat. Jeez. To see it. I guess Annie's a musical, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I've seen Annie. There you go. Yeah. But I'd love to see a Broadway musical. But I think it'd be kind Wicked, of Wicked. I think you would like Wicked. Yeah. Wicked's really cool. It's um like the Wizard of Oz, but it's the story of the the Wicked Witch of the West, and Glinda the Good Witch, and how like they went to college together and they're like good friends. Oh, that's it's, cool. And but like the Wicked Witch of the West is shown as not being like like kind of how she became wicked. Like she was a good person, and these things happened to her. But what about like Cirque du Soleil? Are those musicals? No. Why? Because there's... that's like acrobatic performances. But there's music in it though. If so. With it's like just singing. the soundtrack. The si they're singing? It's a, they're singing it? No, it's not a musical. Oh. Anyways. But yeah, great, great show. Maybe you should watch it. <laughs> no, but I think it would be kind of cool to see a, like how they set up like the the stage and everything for it, right? For what? Like a musical. It depends. Like Rent, what I've always thought was interesting about Rent Live is that it's one set. So a lot of musicals will have a bunch of different props and they'll like close the curtain between seats and they'll move like... You know, they'll completely, a new screen will come down and trees, yeah. you know. But Rent, it's just like a table in the center of the room. And they have like one backdrop that's got like stairs going up around and that's it. That's boring. And they use that for everything. Really? Yeah. And, but they like, will put like a tablecloth on or they'll like, the lighting will change. Hmm. It's, it's really, it's really cool the way it's done because it feels like it's happening in all these different spots, but it's just, that's it. It's just a table. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'd have to see it, I guess. You should watch them. I think you'd like the movie. Yeah. It's set in, like, the late 80s, I think, in New York City. And it's the story. The guy who wrote it had a lot of friends. He lived in New York, and he had a lot of friends who were dying um, in the AIDS crisis. Yeah. And so he wrote it kind of about his friends. Oh, no, so it's, yeah. uh, it's really good. Hmm. But, yeah, I think I want to, like, I never really started watching any musicals or, like, until Rachel was like, oh, hey, like, I'm watching this. And I was like, this is pretty good. Like, the songs are pretty good in this. Because, like, obviously, I always, like I said, I always used to be like, oh, there's too much singing in this movie. Ah. Mm -hmm. But then when you actually watch a musical, it's like, okay, like, it's just enough singing. Like, some movies that have just enough singing in it, like, but, like, aside with, like, actual, like, dialogue, mm -hmm. is pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> That's my question. All right. Well, uh, I guess my question was, what's your favorite movie or musical and why? Because I said it was Rent. You said it was Rent. Because it's very, like, uh, the music is, like, modern rock, like, fun, like, catchy kind of music. Yeah. It's not, like, you know, what you would think of coming from a musical. Yeah. And the story is really, like, interesting and deep and complex, and the characters are really good. Yeah. Whoever did the music, whoever did, like, the music and, like, the, all the stuff for Greatest Showman, obviously, like thought it out pretty well and you know what's sad about rent is the guy who wrote it i forget what his name was i used to know um he never even got to see um the play the opening night because he died oh really Jeez. Yeah. it was like something crazy happened like he had like a heart attack or like an aneurysm like something really unexpected like the night before opening night wow and it became like this huge thing and he was living in this like little studio apartment he was like really broke and like on hard times and like he never even got to see like how successful it was wow it's crazy. Who got the rights after he passed away? I don't know. Hmm. 
But all the original cast members, almost all of them, who were in like the original Rent when it became really popular, were they signed up and they did the movie. Oh, that's good. So a lot of like the people are the same from the original one. Oh, that's good then. That's good. <laughs> anyway. Um, the last thing I was going to talk about is I think finally, after almost three months this week, we're supposed to get our wedding photos back. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm excited for that. Because I want to see all of the... Your topics are more like like statements than the topics. I'm sorry, you're disappointed. <laughs> no, I'm not. But, yeah, no, I'm excited too. I was, I was, I was going to say that we're getting them back. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing like the... Not even like the professionally posed pictures, but like any funny ones. They've oh, like the quirky ones, yeah. Like I wanted to... Like you were saying... I was going to say tell a story of like what pictures you were taking when it was just you guys getting ready at the Airbnb. Ours were, see, the thing is, is like, you know me, like, I'm not like a picture, like, I like taking some pictures, but like, not like a ton, Mm -hmm. but like, she was like shooting like a ton of photos. Actually, after the, after the wedding, we were like, well, hopefully in a week our photos will be done. Well, I want, we got a sneak preview, which is what is normal, but it does usually take a couple months. Yeah. To get your pictures back. It's just like, I feel like I've been waiting forever. I know. It feels like a long time. I'm like, oh, I just want them because I want to print some out and I want to like put some up around the house, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just... How long has it been? Like uh, three months? Um, It's really only been two months. Yeah. But it feels like it's been longer. Yeah. They, they did like a... <laughs> so I ate a... <laughs> so, um, what the heck was it again? I was like... The night before the wedding... You went to get your haircut and you went to the mall. No, I ate a bunch of food. Yeah, at the mall. Didn't you eat, like, Indian food or something? I forget what you had. Like, I, Korean barbecue. Yes. I had, like, Korean barbecue and I was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is going to be fine. I know. Fine. Before he left, I was like, Travis, when you go to the mall tonight, make sure you get, like, a salad. Like, something light. Yeah. It's not going to hurt your stomach. Because, like, I, I was like, oh, I got to make sure that, like, I'm... Because I'm going to be super anxious and blah, blah, blah. So, sure enough, I have Korean barbecue and at first I'm like, this is really amazing. And after I'm like, oh my god, my stomach. I woke up the next day and I was like, oh my god, I, I don't like my stomach is killing me. And so one of the guys that was in the in the wedding, he showed up with a case of beer and Pepto Bismol, <laughs> and I'm like, yes. So in our photo shoots, we had Pepto Bismol in like all of our photo shoots. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's what I was. That's what you're trying that's to get at. I'm it. getting it. I hope that those pictures are in there. I know, me too. If they are, we'll post. She, we'll post one of them on the Patreon when she, we get it. Yeah, Rachel had like the main photographer, and I had like the extra photographer. We ended up hiring when we first got a photographer. We just had one, um, and then a couple like a month before the wedding, I had like the final meeting with her, and she was like, "Oh, do you want to get a second shooter because we're getting ready at different locations at the exact same time, so she's can't be in two places at once." She's like, so I can get a second shooter who will just cover, like, th- maybe for three hours. So, like, yeah. the guy's getting ready in part of the ceremony so that you have a couple different angles. And I was like, yeah, it's worth it. So, for those three hours, you had the second shooter. Yeah. But, I, and, but when she got there, she, <laughs> see, we, we stayed at, a, like, this Airbnb cottage place. On the water. And it was nice. It was nice. But, like, we had, so. <laughs> All the guys by themselves. So, when I got there, I had, like, my duffel bag. And I just, like basically just changed right in like the living room so all my clothes and like everything were just everywhere this is not surprising and uh i'm pretty neat though (laughs) anyways yeah no yeah yeah no No. i'm gonna start that's only another patreon thing uh (laughs) see pictures of like rachel's side of the room this is travis's side of the room we have this thing where we have we have a end table. end table on each side and the bed and rachel's end table always has like one cup of water and like her book and then my side is just like garbage no, like like yeah like wrappers and like and dishes. empty chip bags but i i do clean, i do clean it up it's just that like like i'm not like that it's not like that's what the house looks like it's just usually most of the time i'm like well i'm done eating good night yes <laughs> and then and he'll, he'll try to hand them over to me and i'm like uh uh-uh, uh yeah put it on your side I'm, yeah. not, I'm not taking part of this yeah so um what was the question again what was <laughs> Oh yeah, so so messy. when when the lady showed up, when the when the person showed up to take the pictures, um, everyone's like, "Travis, move your shit!" Like it's all over, <laughs> yes. and I'm like, "Ah, I'm like this girl." But yeah, the the funniest pictures were probably the Pepto Bismol ones. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah, that, and like they were taking pictures while we were dancing and stuff, um, and like 
not like our slow dances, but just like when the party started. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the speeches when everyone was like laughing and having a good time. Yeah. I think it's more because we were thinking about hiring a uh, videographer and uh, yeah. And <laughs> if you guys are debating about hiring a videographer, I suggest you do it. We didn't do it. Uh -huh. Why? Because I, we, you, well, anyways, it was really expensive. <laughs> it was expensive. I wanted to hire one. So did I. At the, I was, we just like thought like it was, it was just going to be too much money and we we're like, well. It was going to be too much Yeah, money. it was like three, four thousand dollars. It was going to be like at least three grand. Like you can get low, you can get, I'm sure probably cheaper people to like, or like cheaper companies to do that. But it's just that like you want the, you know, at the end it's a one time thing, right? So it's like, it's only going to happen once. Like it's not like we're going to go back and be like, let's do the wedding again. Yeah. You know, so. Maybe in like 20 years we'll do a vow our renewal. Vow renewal, yeah. So the thing is, is that like. If you're going to do it, it's kind of, like, I would probably say do it because, like, now we're kind of like, oh, I wish we could watch, like, a cool movie about it. But I think the other thing is, like, we were saying, too, is that maybe not because then we're always remembering in our, our minds, like, how amazing it was. Do you know what I mean? Rather than, like, oh, look at that video. Like, I was, you know, twerking, like, really crazy on the dance floor or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. So I wish we would have had one, but I'm not, like, I don't, like, have huge regrets or anything. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, we'll have pictures. It's not like we have nothing. Yeah, that pictures are going to be, I'm, I'm sure, amazing. Yeah. Like, maybe they do have little videos. We don't know. They don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you never it's know. Fine. You never know. But, yeah, if you guys are debating about getting a videographer, I would suggest do it. As long as it's, like, in your budget. I think that's the thing. It's, like... Our whole thing was we were trying to do, and I, I was kind of in... Like, we set in our minds, like, okay, this is how much we want to spend. And I kind of like planned everything and want, had to stay within like a very strict budget because we wanted to, we don't, like we didn't want to spend like a fortune. No. Like we didn't realistically know it was like one day. Yeah. And like we don't want to be, like some people go crazy and have like, you know. Which is like, spend, which like, is like up to them. Which right? is up to them and everything. But like we weren't going to be going into debt like to have a wedding. No. Um, so it just didn't, like we would have had to spend more out of pocket and it just would have, I don't know. Just yeah. for us, it didn't make any sense. No, not for one day. And, like, no. we also decided that, like, we didn't go on a honeymoon at all, which... Not yet. Not yet. I still think that, like, ideally, like, after a wedding, most people are like, oh, I'm, you know, if you can't afford to go on a honeymoon, don't go on one. But I think it's always good to just, like, decompress after that. Like, yeah. we... when After our wedding, after our wedding, we were, like, um, you know, we were, like, very, like, anxious after for a while. Because, like, you, you build up to, like, that time and that moment. It was the craziest summer, though. Like, we moved... Yeah. I had the wedding and I started a new job all within like a month and a half. Yeah. I remember because, so when you're, when you're like, when you have, so we had a house and then I was like, okay, I got to sell the house. I have to find a buyer for my house. Then I have to like look for a house. And it was like all these like new things that I just had. I was like, I've already done them before, but I haven't had to do it for a very long time. So like now that, um, you know, so then we ended up like doing all that and then we had the wedding and blah, 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 blah. So it was just like, it was like crazy amount of stuff. But then after, after everything, I was like, ah. Like, now we can actually be like, well... I feel like I'm only just starting to, like, be comfortable with, like, all the changes. Yeah. Not, like, the wedding or anything, just, like, the, all the stress yeah. of everything. Because, yeah. like, I literally a week after the wedding, I started my new job. So, I had just, like, oh, relaxed after all, like, the craziness of the wedding. And then now it's, like, I've been in this position for almost two months. And it takes me a long time to, like, adapt to changes. Yeah. So, I'm, like, only just starting to try and feel like comfortable in my new position yeah and then yeah it's just been crazy yep. so like i do wish we w had a honeymoon planned but yeah. i'm glad we didn't do it right after no because no. it just was too much all at once i still want to go somewhere though yep well, hopefully universal studios no <laughs> we already went we went to universal studios and i loved it like crazy and like every time we talk about it rachel's like let's go to florida i'm like yeah universal universal like, no <laughs> I liked it. She liked going to the resorts and stuff. I really liked going to Universal because, like, they have, like, really cool rides there. Yeah. And, like... I guess. Yeah. And arcades. Oh, that I wasted a lot of money on. Yes. The stupid claw machines. Universal Studios, if you listen to this, fix your claw machines. They're broken. I got... When we went there, I brought, like... I had, like, $40 American on me, and I spent them on the claw machines to try to get a creeper a Minecraft thing, and... I spent like 20 bucks and I got into like a certain position and then I was like, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to spend anymore. Yeah, I'm never going to get this. I walk away. And then 10 minutes later. 10 minutes later, I go back and somebody got it. Yeah. I was like. You primed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he spent another $20 trying to get like another one and he never. Yeah. 
and that's all. I remember we went back one night specifically for, like, the resort we were staying on was right off of Universal City Walk, which is, like, it's all attached. Yeah. It was, like, resort, City Walk, Universal Studios. If you, if you guys ever go to Universal Studios, it's I would It's a way to do it. It's a way yeah. to do it. Like, people were talking about Disney Springs. Disney Springs. It's the same Dis- kind of thing as City Walk. Yeah, so these are, like, resorts that are specifically, like, in the area. The beautiful thing about our resort, though, was... Was the boat. Was a boat, yeah. So we had, like, this, like, little... We had, like, a boat that basically... It's, boats, like, a little ferry that would take you. Yeah, they would go, but it was on, like, a like a little small, like, little canal. It's, like, a little man-made lake. Yeah, and it would be, like, a one-minute boat ride, pretty much, like, just to, like, get to City Walk, and then you walk right into Universal Studios. So you don't even have to have, like... There's no car rides. There's no nothing. You just basically You could take wait. a bus, too, but the boat was faster. You could walk. I remember one time we walked. <laughs> it was raining. And it was raining. Yeah, they shut the boats down if it... Um, Rains. It's storming, obviously, because yeah. you can't be in the water if there's, like, thunder and lightning. No. But we were in the park, and then it started to rain, and we're like, oh, we should go back, and we get to the boats, and they're like, oh, no, it's shut down until the rain ends. We were so hungry. Yeah. And it started, like, pouring, and we're like, oh, it's not that far. It's, like, a 10-minute walk. Yeah, we oh, get back, we're like, <laughs> Yeah. It felt so much longer, because yeah. it was just, like, actually a monsoon. Yeah. We got inside, and we I think that's the night we just ordered room service, because we were like dead yeah like we can't go out again (laughs) but if you're ever like in if you're ever there just get like if you're obviously if you're from the states you'll have it but uber eats is like probably oh yeah we did that too we finally realized what uber eats was and we're like wait a minute because we were eating lunch in the parks or we were getting like poolside food which was really delicious yeah but it was expensive it was super pricey and then we're like why aren't we just like we like looked it up we're like uber eats will literally bring us like a five dollar sub to the door yeah so we just got like i remember one night we got like that fire it was like firehouse subs. Fire yeah, it was subs pretty good. It was really good. But we got pasta one time. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. But yeah, so if you ever go to Universal Studios, try staying on that stuff. A little bit more expensive, but definitely heck of a lot worse. I see I really liked City Walk and I really liked the resort. And it's yeah. not that I didn't like Universal Studios. I just like I wouldn't want to go back until I had like kids or something because I don't go on the rides. See, now they're doing like a big update though. Like we were we were talking about it because they're doing a big update with Universal Studios for um, like Mario Land and stuff. Yeah. And and that's gonna be pretty dang cool. I just I just feel like it's almost a waste because I'm just like standing around. I'm like, no thanks, I don't want to go on that. No thanks, because the rides all make me like motion sick. Yeah, well, I mean for me too. Like I remember I went onto the Simpsons ride. Oh, I was yeah. like, I'm going on the Simpsons ride. I was like, I don't know, Trevor. Are you sure? I'm gonna wait outside. Yeah, like, it's fine. And I'm like, yeah. And we get in, and it's like a room like where it's 4D. It's 4D ride, and it's like there was like a one person here, here, here. And it's just a big screen in front of you that like shakes and like it's an actual roller coaster that like goes down and stuff. I don't know if it's a roller coaster that goes down. No, the seats just move. I think it, it does feels... actually move though. Because I remember we were like, it felt like, I, I could definitely tell the difference between moving and not moving. I'm pretty yeah. sure we were actually like falling at one point. And I remember like, I was just like, I got off and I'm like, okay, should not have done that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, but I like, I have heard people say like, you should take those, um, those like they're like these little band-aid thingies behind your ears and they have like that it's a little patch patch that makes so apparently that's what you're supposed to do before these rides otherwise and then that way they're really good because i really wanted to go in the harry potter one yeah uh, the hippogriff one yeah um but uh so i think next time i go i might try that to see how it is because like it would be so kind of cool. i would go again soon if yeah. we had people to go with us yeah yeah because i felt bad that you had to go on them by yourself yeah, I remember this one. You know, because if we had a group of people, there would be somebody else who probably would wait with me. I wouldn't just be standing there alone. And then there would be somebody who would go on with you. There was this one ride, which I like, which I, I thought I was going to love, which it was fun. It was uh-huh. just the log ride with the water. Yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah. When I was yelling really crazy? Yes. Okay. So, at Disney or at Universal? Universal. Okay. So when I was, we're on this log ride that like, it goes like really high up and then it just drops because I really like log water rides. And I remember we got to the top and... Was it, I on this one? No. Oh, it was just you're talking like, about the huge drop one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you remember you were like, I could hear you yelling and it clearly yeah. was you. So in front you of... So, he, you sounded like... I forgot. Oh my God. I wish I had recorded it. I was trying. I was waiting to record you, but it took so long. I know. That I just sat down and stopped recording. But I knew she was coming. You sounded like you were being killed. Like, <laughs> it was like the most strangled, oh. like... Like, back the, of the throat yell I've ever heard. I remember that, okay, so in front of me, there was, like, these people, and they didn't speak any English at all, and I was like, hi, and they're like, and, like, they didn't say anything, it was, like, this older guy, like, really older guy in front of me, and 
we get to the top and like it does this small little like drop but it's actually still a drop anyways it's like Brr! and i was like oh here we go and i started yelling and like and then it was just like Bing! and then it like goes on to this other thing anyways we get to the very very top and it's like clink 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 which i hate because i hate that because i know that right oh, after like... and all of a sudden you look down and it's just like this big drop and i'm just like ah but like really loud because they only went that like i don't like the stomach feeling is like really annoying to me i if i yell i find like i counteract that but like you know what i mean you don't I really don't. you know well people that do this know yeah. what i mean anyways that's the whole thing about like screaming you're like ah so like you get that feeling out of your stomach but when i got to the bottom i was like hell yeah and like the old guy in front of me he <laughs> when we got to the bottom he was like uh <laughs> and he like turns to me and I was like oh my god for people on the podcast listening Travis just covered his ears yeah I just covered my ears but um but I remember like Rachel when I got out I was like oh did you see me and she was like yes that I could hear you yeah. you sounded like death I was like okay. yeah you sounded like you were like regretting every decision you've yeah. ever made yeah I think it's I think it's good to get like and then like I remember at Disney we saw like the smaller log ride and I was like nah we went on the one at uh Animal Kingdom Animal Kingdom was good. We it wasn't a log ride, though, I guess. It was no. like... It was like a small drop. It, wasn't it was like an inner tube. Yeah. <laughs> right. But that was fun. Okay, so the last one was... What... Uh, oh, that was an extra topic I added there. Oops. Uh, when... When can we... Actually, here, let's talk about... <laughs> what? I have two topics. I have two topics that I'm trying to when think about. When can we... I have two... Well, which one do I want to go with? Hmm... Cloning pets. So, what are your what are your thoughts on cloning pets? I think it would just make me sad. So, me and Rachel looked up. So, I remember it was like it was like a weekend, and the other one, the other question, just so we guys are know, because I know you guys will be like, ah, I want to know what the other question was. It was when can we set up the Christmas tree? <laughs> no, not until December first. Continue. Well, anyway, topic did end. Yeah. <laughs> no more discussion. Just so you guys are curious, because I know people are like, 1st. I need to know. Um, I mean, you can do your, I don't care when you do your stream tree, but yeah. like our That actual, one I'm going to wait, I'll wait till like the week after Remembrance Day. But. Actual Christmas tree, December 1st. Yeah. So, um, so it was like a Saturday or no, it was a Friday and I was like, I remember we were holding Saber and I was like, oh my God. You remember what day of the week it was? No. Well, we know, was, <laughs> I think it was a Friday because it was like a weekend. We had like a long, we don't have these long conversations. It was a Friday on the <laughs> full moon. Stars were Anyways, I think it was a weekend and we looked into... We looked into, um, or we were, I forget, we were like talking about Saber for some reason. I was like, oh That's my God. That's our favorite topic, so. Yeah, pretty much sense. just Saber, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh my God, like Saber, blah, 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 blah. And we were like cuddling her. And I was like, we should really look into how much it would be to clone her. And I remember looking and it was like $50,000. <laughs> easy peasy. Yeah, <laughs> easy money. Yeah. But uh, so I was like, and then we started like researching and underneath the agreement for like the cloning process, like I was like, we were, I was like looking into it, but like obviously I'm not serious. We're not going to do it. But I remember it says, like, once cloned, there's no guarantee of survival, survivability uh, and also um, about, um, like, their personality being the same. Like, personality and survival rates are, like, not guaranteed, which obviously makes sense because you don't know what could happen, um, blah, 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 um, and all that other stuff. So, what are your thoughts on cloning? My thoughts on cloning are... Dogs. Cl- my thoughts on cloning Saber. Saber. Are... If I was guaranteed the exact same. an identical product to what I have now, I would want, and it was like affordable. Yeah. I would do it. Like, what's your affordable cost? If it was like 10 grand. What? Rachel? What? That's a lot of money. A, yeah, she's like my lighted No, my, we would not pay 10 my, grand for that. If it was like increments of like, hey, you could pay this over course of like 20 That's years. It. Yeah. Yeah. And it would be like thirty dollars a month or something. Yeah. Sure. Installments. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are listening and you're ready to clone pets, put some installments in there. So I would be like, yeah, let's do it because like that dog is like the best dog I've had in my life. I love that dog. Yeah. She's the best. Yeah. She's my best friend. <laughs> well, but if it was like, oh, you, I think she'll that... look the exact same, but she'll probably like act completely different. I'd be like, no. I think because the... then I would just be sad because I'd be looking at Saber, but it wouldn't be Saber. I think the question is more like. Do you think that it's right to clone pets? I guess. We'll, cl- we'll, we'll throw I mean, that in there. I don't see why not. I don't see why not either. If it's not like... Like they're not going to be Mass in produce. pain all day. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I think it would... But I mean, only pets. But only pets, yeah. Not humans. No, 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 no. For like dinosaurs. 
we're gonna go back to the last week's topic. <laughs> well, yeah, Travis, what would you, what would you do about this, um, about dinosaurs? Well, we would put them in like a nice park, so like Jurassic Park. <laughs> but I, I mean, yeah, I would agree that as long as it would be, as long as it would be, um, you know, affordable ish. Like if somebody said to me it had to be ten bucks, ten, ten bucks, ten thousand dollars, like right up or like right, you up know, front. up front, I would not. I no, for no. sure not. Like, the other thing is, is that, like, the other thing is, is, like, if you just... But if you think about it, if she lives to be 15 years old, what's 10 grand over 15 years? No, I know. But I'm what I'm saying is, because, yeah, you buy a car and stuff like that, too, right? Yeah. So the thing is, is that, um, you know, like, it would... But you also want to, like, make the memory, like, you know, only go so far. Because, like, if you just keep cloning your dog over and over and over and over and over again, people are going to be like, oh, it's... There's Saber again. Yeah, but... But it's not going to be the original Saber. I just think... Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying if it was. Like well, if, how if, could... If, if it was, like, guaranteed that she would be exactly like the original Saber. But the memories will all be gone. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. She's still going to act the same and have the same personality? No, because the, the everything will reset. It'll be like somebody pressing the reset button on, like, a, on like a I game. I still would want it. And you still have to program the game again. I still want it. Yeah. I think I, I think I would be a little bit against it just because, like... I think it, I think it wouldn't be, I, I would be like, oh, she doesn't, this is not, this, this is Saber 1, this is, or Saber 2.0, this is not Saber 1.0. They don't remember, like, the time we brought her to the park and she, like, does pooped she everywhere. Does that, though? <laughs> <laughs> like, now? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, does she remember? That? She does, yeah, she only remembers me when, like, and I feel like she's if I like walk it. out the door and walk back in, she's like, hey, we got her memories. That's what I mean. I don't even know how good her memory is as. Saber, what, how good is your memory? Uh, you know, it's like 25 day second, I mean, 25 day seconds. She's sleeping. Yeah. Um, so I think like for me, I don't think I would be down for it just because I think it would be too hard to be like, oh yeah, that wasn't that Saber. But at the same time too, like I do agree Saber's like a, a good little, good little doggo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'd be kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Is it, do I think it's right? Sure. Whatever. Do whatever you want. But like, I think... <laughs> I think that for me, it would be hard. It would be a hard decision to choose that, for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other topics that you want to talk about? No. So we we always uh we're always like talking about our weekly movie. So we if you guys are didn't get a chance to listen to last week's podcast, every week we're doing this thing where me and Rachel choose like movies. Mostly it's just like I choose a bunch of movies and then Rachel chooses or whatever. But like we'll choose like a bunch of them and we'll pick one that we want to watch, um, and like out of like a few lists. But this week we watched. Uh, Greece, because Rachel wanted to watch Greece to like cheer herself up. Uh, and she had a long day at work, and then we watched. Um, what else did we watch? Ace Ventura and uh, When Nature Calls. Ace Ventura When Nature Calls, which is like the second one. Uh, what else did we watch? That was it. That was it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought we watched more. Maybe we, do we fill the the void with Dawson's Creek? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we watched more. I think we did. I don't think so. I think that was that. There might, there's got to be another movie that we threw in there one day. I don't think so. Because after, I remember after Grease, she was like, oh, you choose now. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, um, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Oh, Watch on God. Halloween. Yeah, that movie was so bad. I'm sorry for all you Ghostbusters lovers out there, but that movie was just like all no, over the I place. I didn't even want to finish it. Rachel was like, I don't want to finish this, so I ended up finishing watching it. So, out of all of them, like, definitely like... What was your favorite? Grease? Grease. Yeah. Yeah, like, Grease was cool, like, up until the end, um, when the car f flies away. <laughs> At the end of the movie... Classic. The th funny thing about Grease is that, like, it, the music's pretty good. Like, I like it. It's a really good movie. Yeah. But, like, at the end, at the very end of the movie, they're in a car and it just flies to the sky. No and I'm like, why did they include that? They could have just not it. left that in there. Um, Don't worry about No it. other parts in Grease that were, like, very weird, though, that I can think of. No. No. I think mean, they're pretty good. I it's mean, except for the one. Oh, so Rachel told me this thing, which I was like, excuse me, like, this is crazy. I was like, why doesn't Sandra D sound like Australian when she's singing? And mm -hmm. Rachel was like, oh, because like when people sing, they all, they generally all sound like the same. Like mm -hmm. there's no like difference. And I'm like, what? Yeah, you don't usually hear accents when you, and I, I use that as an example, like Adele, uh, Sam Smith, like they all have accents, Mumford and Sons. You don't hear it when they're singing. Yeah. And, and it's crazy, like it's mind blowing. So if you're listening to this right now, like this is this this was like a whoa. Blue Travis's mind. I was like, we gotta talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> I looked it up, and I guess it's a combination of um, 
just like trends over time in music in that like Americanized accents, like American accents, that music was the most popular over history. Yeah. And so when people with other dialects and accents sing, they were mimicking that American accent in their songs. So it's just become like a standard. A standard yeah. And then also, I guess when you sing, your words are longer and more drawn out. And so like regional accents don't come through as much. Yeah. I was, I don't know, either way, I was, like, blown away. I was, like, that's crazy. I never even, like, thought about that. Because, mm-hmm. like, you're right. Like, Adele has a strong accent. Yeah. And, like, in her, in her songs, you're, like, oh, it's all normal. To like, us. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. crazy. But, um, yeah, Grease was a pretty good movie. Uh, obviously, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, number two. Even though it's an older movie, still pretty funny. Like, we I were mean, laughing. It has funny moments. Jim Carrey is very obnoxious. Yeah. Like, in that character. A lot of it, I was just like, oh, it's like so cringe. <laughs> it's like, and now, like I said, back in the day, the humor was related. I mean, if you're a kid, it's like very like physical, like goofy kind yeah. of like cringe humor. Well, the. But it is all right. He did a lot of, so before Jim Carrey became like really like big, he was on a show called um, uh, In Living Color. Okay. And he did like a bunch, he did what is called, I think it was Fire Marshal Bill. Mm-hmm. And he would like do like all these like weird things. And from Fire Marshal Bill, they kind of like cut all the funny stuff, like the funny, like quirky things. And they copy and pasted him into like Ace Ventura. Mm-hmm. And that's why he has like the, like, like, like all these like, like a glove kind of thing. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> what? <was that? laughs> you know what I'm talking about? When do it again. He, no. It's when he flips the, he flips like this truck like 50 times. And he finally fits it into like a parking spot. It's like, like a glove. But what was that face you were <laughs> That's what he makes in the show. It's like, <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> but it's like, his like eyes go into the skull. Yeah. Anyways, so... Uh, my parents, when Jim Carrey was first doing stand-up comedy in like the 70s, when my parents were like teenagers, they yeah. went and saw him do... Because he's Canadian. Yeah, he went to... Uh, they went, he was in Toronto or something like that. They went and saw him do like a stand-up. He was at like the Just for Laughs. A few years later, he was like... Big. Big. Yeah, he was... He, I think he started in like Just for Laughs and like random things like that. Um, I remember like in Universal Studios, we went there one year, and I think I told you guys this story before, where I thought it was Jim Carrey, and because it was a guy dressed up as Ace Ventura, and I was like, there he is, like that's him. And, like, he was surrounded. He had, like, a parrot on his shoulder and everything. And I was like, oh, that's him. And my dad was like, go get his autograph. And I was like, oh, my God, can you, like, sign? I think he's, like, signed, like, my shirt or something. And I was, like, adamant that that was the real Jim Carrey. And I remember, like, the picture was, like, saved somewhere. And I remember looking at it, like, six years later. I'm like, what the heck? That's not even Jim Carrey. And I was, like, super angry. And I was, like, 11 years old just, like, looking at his picture just, like, they lied to me. Like, they said it was Jim Carrey. Your parents? Yeah. Oh. And I was like, aww. Because, like, you know when you, have a ki- when you have a kid and you're, like, going to Disney World, obviously that's not the Mickey. Do you know what I mean? Well, Mickey's... You know what I not mean. Not real. Not real. Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Never mind. So. Yeah. Correct. Well, you, guys, you guys know what I mean. Yeah. Anyways. Um, but then we also... So, yeah. Ace Mature 2 was pretty funny. I thought it, was, I thought it, it still held. Right. It still held up. Okay. And Ghostbusters, everyone's like, you gotta watch Ghostbusters, you gotta watch Ghostbusters. Who, who said that to you? Uh, a lot of people in chat were saying oh, that. Yeah. So I ended up watching it, and I'm sorry for all you people that love Ghostbusters out there, but Bill Murray is like one of the worst actors. Oh I've, my god, he's I, so bad. I can't, he looks like he's like trying to like be overly. He looks like he hates what he's doing. He hates what he's doing, it looks like he's being, he's trying to be overly funny. Yeah. Like he's like, ah, what are you doing today there? Oh, okay, I don't care, I'm gonna go over here. And I'm like. He's what? also like a lot, a lot, I find this a lot with like going back and watching older movies and stuff like so many of the jokes are so like inappropriate they are not just like inappropriate like oh i can't believe you said that but like wow that's incredibly racist and or like offensive to yeah women. i know it just i'm just like i can't even laugh at it like, i know like at one at one moment like no, when she Bill Murray was when like the girls you, passed yeah out, and he's like kissing her and he's like i'll see you late i'm like she's literally passed out yeah and you think this is no the, time there was this, that her. and there's also this one part where this girl's like, I just seen a ghost. Like, I'm like, uh, she's like getting like checked out by by uh, paramedics, and he's like, Oh, are you on your period? Yeah. And I'm like, What the heck? Like, get what? I know it was a different time. Yeah. And, but it just like as a 20th century woman, yeah. I'm like, Ugh. like I understood. I think it, I think the I understood like the whole idea of like they're chasing ghosts and stuff, which is fine. But like, there were a few like somewhat funny scenes. Yeah, I think it was like some funny parts. But most of it was very, like, 
like they're they're holding all these ghosts in like this huge contraption area and like the for some odd reason like the t the town's like person like the hive guy goes there and he's like i want to shut this down uh because like this you don't know what th this could do and they're all like don't do it like you're gonna release all the ghosts and he's like ah do it anyway so then he releases it and then all the cops show up and they're like arresting all the ghostbusters and they're like but we told him not to do it and like they're but like the cops and knew. then they're in jail for like approximately 20 seconds yeah and they're and, like yeah you can go and the mayor no because the mayor's like oh tell me how to fix this and they're like well your guy just did this and they're and the guy's like yeah i did it but whatever and like i'm like what is happening <laughs> and then i remember not yeah it's just like it's just like i think like we got to start realizing that like it's an older cheesy movie that got i think it got big probably because of the song too yeah the well, song is what made yeah. it like the like, I think anybody that you ask, you're like Ghostbusters, like din 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 din. Like it's like engraved in your brain, like you just know about it. But those are the three movies that we watched. Uh, it, uh, one thing, cool thing that I was thinking that is, if you guys in Discord want to post about movies that you think that we should watch, post them in Discord. We can check them out. But I mean, this week I don't know. I have a few movies in my head that I wanna really? that I want to watch. I haven't it. thought that far ahead. No, yet. I have. Yeah. <laughs> I always have You'll forget by the time. Yeah, it like in like t I'm just like Saber. After yeah. 25 seconds, I'm like, what's going on now? It's time to grab Saber. Yeah. All right, let's grab Saber for her weekly debut. She's had a good nap. For those of you who are watching on Patreon, Hi. you can see the video. And Saber is smelling like corn chips. Yep. Which is one thing that's kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys have ever done it before, but we've and this is a thing. Okay, this is a thing. Is we have a thing where. Have you ever? If you've been, watching it, like, everyone's oh watching this. Like, God, what is happening? Disgusting. Um, for some reason, dogs' feet smell like corn chips, and we don't. And we at first we thought we were probably a little bit crazy, so you know we wanted to make sure that we weren't crazy, and we googled it, and it turns out that it's it, bacteria. It's bacteria on the dog's feet that. It's make, like how we sweat. They sweat through their paws. Yeah. So it turns out that it's bacteria that makes it smell like corn chips. Don't even. Because care. this one time. <laughs> We brought Saber to the groomers, and I think she's so disgusting. I know though. she's clean like all the time. Like look how clean this dog. We is. give her a bath all the time. Yeah, and uh, we brought her to the we brought her to the groomers, and she got clean. And we're like, oh my god, her feet don't smell like corn chips anymore. And we're like, what the heck? I'm like, what if she was just dirty this entire time? <laughs> and then we realized that it's not that at all. It's just so. If you guys are crazy like us and you know the corn chip smell of your dog, let us it's know. It's such a good smell. It is. But that is our second podcast. Good job, Rachel. Very proud of you. You've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trav. Um, once again, guys, if you want to watch this and you're like, hey, I want to watch the things that they show, uh, you can watch the video exclusive on Patreon. Um, however, you can also listen on Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts. Podcasts, and also Radio Plus. Uh, soon to be, hopefully, iTunes Music, but it's a little bit complicated to get on there, so we will see. But we'll see you guys in the next week. And uh, if you guys have any, remember, if you guys have tier one or sorry, tier, was it tier two or tier three on Patreon, you guys can uh, ask us questions. So feel free to do that. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.